Because I had to go ripping and running. And. Wait, what you can say? Okay. But y'all. So today. I went to go get some churches. Chicken. One of my all time most favorite favorite so what i got from now is okra peppers biscuits and a five piece so we're gonna drink this with hot so i don't know i got i love okra. i got two things okra y'all because i love okra but we're gonna fit this right here so it's not in the video and we're gonna pray God, thank you for this food that I'm about to devour in, in some minutes. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. So right now, okay, I was supposed to be giving a story time. So I'm doing a story time of, of how I came at, like, how I became myself today. Okay. Hold on. Okay, the dry. <clears throat> I really don't like to talk much when I eat. I like to eat. I don't like talking about that. That distract me. But we're going to try to talk. Okay. It started when I was in elementary school. Well, it started with my mom because my mom made me go to elementary school. Went to a size 10 some more Adidas. Then to this day, them shoes hunting. She made me go to school with a size 10. Um, because I was acting crazy in school. So she made me go to school with, with a size 10. And I was in a size 4. I get to school. I got y'all never seen my group Adidas. I grip the Adidas with my toes and I'm walking. So I'm gonna sit back back my feet. I get to class. I sit by myself. I seclude myself. I sit, I sit by myself because I'm from my bill. If they see them shoes, they finna drink me. So I sit in the back. I'm trying to act a little friend like I ain't, I ain't my same self. And by the way, I don't need none of the bone. Do you hear me? So, I um, seclude myself. And so, I thought secluding myself. Mind you, my teacher never called me to the small board to do no answers, answer no questions in there. So today, she called me to do a questioning on the small board. And I'm looking at her like, I feel like you're trying to be funny because well, you know what? You, you know the shoes I got on. Why would you make me go to the small board knowing that cooking on the back of my feet? And, the, and, the, and now you got to. She, she got the whole classroom quiet. So now they hit a, they hit a click and a click on the back of my shoes. So I get to the small board. <clears throat> I do a nice CJ, but like, 
whose shoes you got on before I even answer the question. And I'm just trying to get, I'm trying, trying to laugh and give like, <laughs> yeah, like, I'm some trying to be, I'm some trying to be, trying to play it out. So I answer my question, I'm quick and cracking back to my seat like I got on heels. I'm trying to line up. Mind you, my last name Winter, so I'm last. So, we line up. We're going to lunch. So, then again, do see that he makes a couple jokes. I'm, I'm just, just, you know what I'm saying, just trying to laugh away. I really want to do it. You know how, like, them girl be running out of class in the movies? That's how I really want to do it in real life. I run out of the class. So I'm laughing like, <laughs> you done so my heart was so broken. I'm just waiting on the right door to do it. See if he see this. Oh, and I, uh, we eat lunch. You know, I sit by myself. This time I'm trying to be trying to be a little friend, so I'm playing on my food. So do like, why you see a big nest right there playing on that food? Like they know you want to eat them. And he's correct. He's absolutely correct because I wanted to devour that food, but I had to play it off because. I had them shoes on. So I'm pumping milk in it. No, I want to sneak some in my pocket. Matter of fact, I think I did snow a torpedo in my pocket. It went to that bathroom. Mm -hmm. So he he jokes and they laugh at the table, whatever. I'm like, where's the nigga even funny? So we get lined up. Now I'm just my last night Wednesday. I'm last. Line up. Going to class. Back to class point. I'm sitting on. We had to work as teams today. So I work with a dude. He was like, he was like weird, but he went weird, but he was weird. Like, you know what I mean? So I work with him. You know, a little one, two, one, two. You know, I had crossed my leg, had him, had him going to the back of the desk. No matter what, can really see me uncomfortable. I caught so many cramps. But I ain't want nobody to notice me. So, finally, at this point, I'm like, man, forget it. I put them to the front. I'm like, why you kick me? So, I ain't kick you. I look up on the table beside Tina, reaching on his side. So, I'm like, my bad. Oh, he was like, whose shoes you got on? Be for real. I'm like, I got in trouble with my man put some of my shoes on. Be a size 10. He said, but you true, I would have had some shoes in my boo bag. And soon she would have dropped me out. And she would have loved, I would have put some shoes. I said, I couldn't to my boo bag. I ain't had no boo bag. So he's still talking to me when I could have did. You must have got on New Balance. And then, and nothing was bad about them. Oh, that bit of dry. The little dry. <clears throat> so fast for. They used to joke and drink me, drink me because of my size and my weight. So I had to like come with some hard stuff. But at, I first, but at first I ain't gonna lie, I used to get on the internet and be looking like how to be funny, how to drink and stuff like that. And it wasn't even funny, so I didn't start coming up with stuff out of my head. And I used to be drinking. But until I had started like, people started like, you funny, you know nothing when I drink. And then... I had to stop drinking. My mom had one about a minute in. The first thing said, you can't fit in the car that mom had about a minute. It's just, it's that, bro. It just made me so mad, cause. I told my man, drop me down for school. She's like, man, I'm not gonna drop you for nothing. Drop me right in front of this school. Then she's gonna blow me on rain day. <laughs> How you pull up in the minivan playing loud? For one, we had no like Bluetooth. We had a regular radio, so like nine two BLX. You pull up, like you just in a drop top or something like a foreign. Pull up, then she got the nerve to try to rip, whip the band, man. And she think, mom, you think she's so cool. Like, mom, you don't even know the, what's going, what I'm going through when you pull off 
in that van. You don't know what I be going through. <laughs> so I used to tell you about that minivan or whatever. I had a minivan with or not. And I used to tell my brother to get in the back and let me get in the front because you know you got to jump up and then sit on the little seats. And I used to just make me mad. So, we used to do that or not. So, find the bands up, you know, she wanted to get another call. So, fast forward, I used to, that's how I learned how to drink, like, so I drank people back. Like, just talk about me, when drink mean like, jousting, like, talking, talk about somebody like that. So, I had to learn how to do it that way. So, people can stop telling me I had to defend myself. So, um, fast forward, uh, um, middle school, the same thing. I had to start getting, I had to start getting revenge. But after my used to drink, anybody come up with anything, you say wrong, I'm on you. Like, I'm on you bad. So, it's packing. The same high school. That's my Jimmy high school, though. Because I was already, like, a little lit. But that's how I start like to drink people back and just, cause when I was younger, I didn't have no companies. I used to always take face photos. I didn't see the, I didn't see like what I'm seeing now. I didn't see back then. Like I, I hated. I ain't gonna say hated myself, but I just, I just not, I did not like myself. So, I and I also used to cry when I used to drink. I used to go home and cry. So. Um, yeah, so, so one day, I always wanted to be like, I'm not going to say famous, but I wanted to be known, you know, and by stuff, so I used to, you know, you know this boy that Ricky, my name is Ricky, like that, him, so I used to take his videos and post them on my Facebook page, um, try to just share the like and stuff. So, like, I say about two people to share this when I, like, it wouldn't be a whole lot of people, just be a couple people sharing it. So, I just try to do funny stuff. Nobody seemed to tap in. Nobody seemed to just like it. They just be like, why are you doing this? Mind you, when I used to post that, people were like, why are you, why are you taking this, doing, trying to be like these folks? Like, it was not trying to be like this. I was really just trying to learn from them. Because I see they didn't care what, the, what people said on the internet. So I was just trying to take their advice. So by me posting it, it was not trying to take, you know what I'm saying? Like, be like them. It was just trying to take advice from them. So one day, I had posted on the internet. It was, it was something funny. And. No, like, yeah, so one day I posted them on the internet with some money, and I had said, Mobile kind of public school system started making our desk more bigger. And so I'm in class, I'm in math class at that. So, you know, she done made to get by her phone, whatever. And so I'm getting on my phone, put my phone up, and when class, oh, I get on the phone, I see like 200. I never like it in my life, I see like 200 lads on the post. So I'm like, mm mm. I'm trying to see what's going on. So I pick up my post and it's like it's 400 some now. And, and people was laughing and sharing, like, she's too funny, boy. She's too funny. Okay. So fast forward. Um, like, I, I was hot to then. So people like, bro, you too funny. Let me see how you made it. I hope I'm done right now. I'm like, no, I'm already know him. Oh. Somebody in the comments has said, post the picture you sent in the days. So I do that. The next week, who was in Fountain? And, and so, I got my friend to take a picture of me in the desk. And mind you, my whole stuff was on top of the desk. So, so she's 
two pictures. I thought like, bro, this ain't gonna be fun. I'm not even gonna post it. I why not posting it? It was going up like it was going like a hundred. I had like a hundred likes and thirty minutes. Mind you, I never got them in likes a day in my life. So yes, a hundred likes and thirty minutes was something to me. Like yes, that was something to me. And so by the time I made it home, like from school, from leaving father and going back to school and from going home, it was like at five hundred. And so it just kept going up, just kept going up. And I, and it was really, I was really enjoying like joining them. And joining people had to stop because it wasn't really affecting me. Mind you, I wouldn't I ain't had no com companies at a young age. I was just you no know, I wear two face photos. I ain't had the companies that I had now, like the curse, the post what I post now. I didn't have it. But now, baby, I woke up every day thinking I'm Beyonce. Then I got Sierra Body. Kardashian booted. Like, that's what I'm saying. People like, you play. I'm like, I'm dead serious. Don't get me wrong. I have my dad going to way. Yes, I do. I do. I do. Let's me. Everybody do that. Puss out. Be here and there. But, after my post started going up, I had to start posting, like, posting crazy stuff on the internet. Because I ain't really, I just really had to stop caring what people were saying about me. Like, I don't want to know, just some came on me and just like, stop caring. Mind you, my family was just, just being so hurtful to me, like mean and hurtful to me. It was like, why are you posting this on the internet? You embarrassing yourself, bro. They not laughing, they laughing at you. They not laughing with you. They, you, you doing, you, you, you just doing a family like they was hurting my feelings, bro. I used to go in my room and cry like, bro, damn, I'm just trying to, just trying to, you know what I'm saying? This is something I enjoy doing. I like doing this. I don't see nothing wrong with me. You know what I'm saying? Loving my body, you know, loving myself. So, so, that hurt me. So, I used to go home and cry. I was like, bro, I just know why I stopped. You know what I'm saying? Like, because it hurt my, 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 my family feeling like they're not, a, they're not, a, you know what I'm saying, selling me for what I'm doing. Even though I wasn't doing that, but just posting funny stuff on Facebook. And, you know, and I didn't like it, so... They used to call mom like, girl, you see, y'all this some honey. I'm finna try honey now. Girl, you see what type of on Facebook? People laughing at her and she think it's cute, you know what I'm saying? But in my head, I'm like, I'm enjoying this. I don't care what nobody's saying about me. So mom like, y'all see it. No, my mom really didn't have nothing to say about it though. Even my other family members, even my brother did say somebody. And my daddy was definitely saying somebody. He was like, I'm embarrassing myself. You know what I'm saying? Just saying a whole lot of stuff to me. So, ooh, she got good. Y'all, what I'm eating back here is just open. Yeah, I probably can't see it. So, that was just hurt my fitness, like, you know what I'm saying? I used to cry, go in my room and cry, you know what I'm saying? I used to be depressed because, like, this time I really enjoy doing I love doing this, you know what I'm saying? I love making people laugh, you know what I'm saying? Whether they... Say something big or not, you know what I'm saying? Huh. And then I watched the video, and it was like a motivation video. Like, stop letting people tell you what you can't do, do it. Well, then, like, it was just like one of the motivation videos I seen. I was like, bro, you right. Like, if you don't like what I'm doing, so oh, so be. Okay, fast forward. I, I, I continue to post, I continue to do what I do. I was to continue to go live, there's no live, you know what I'm saying? Just doing it. So then I started getting attention of family people. Family people started to notice me, started to see me. And would repost to me and stuff like that. So it's like once I got the recognition of family people, it's like all the people that were telling me what I'm doing was embarrassing. You 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 they're not, they're not laughing, which are laughing at you. 
like just started coming around like when you post another video but like a couple months ago you were just saying you 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 you, you you know what I'm saying? Hurtful stuff to me trying to get me to stop. But now your favorite comedian, your favorite actress, your favorite anything, R&B singer, anything, post me. Now you keep doing what you're doing, like give me inspiring words. But at first, it wasn't just inspiring words. It was hurtful words to me. You know what I'm saying? But I kept going. I, I look all past and I kept going. God, I thank myself every day for kept, for kept going. Because I could have gave up and been like, you're right. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't. I kept going. Mm. So they was coming around like, you know, it's bragging on me. Shit, they they never share my stuff before they were sharing my stuff. This my niece, this my cousin, this my you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, where did this energy come from? Cause at first you couldn't even look at my page because you just you just so sad about what I'm doing. Now this energy comes from like, oh keep doing what you're doing. I love you. No, I accept you. Love you too. No hard feel, but I never forget what you said to me. I never forget that. But I still love you because you family, you know what I'm saying? But they just get hurt for like it was just hurtful to me. Oh after I started um getting recognized by family people, my followers just started to go up. And I used to post every day. Some crazy. Me, I was posting every day. Every day. I started to go up. And every day I was every day I was happy because I know I had something to post. I wasn't like back in my, my younger days, I was not depressed, you know what I'm saying? I was actually genuinely happy. And then people started reaching out to me, you know, started doing promos, help their business. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. I was really enjoying it because it was, you know. Hold on. So, after um that happened, I just continue to do me, continue to be me, and my family just came around, want to be so friendly. Who the who the I love you, bro. I love everything you do, bro. Just you know what I'm saying. And then, uh, yeah, I start. I took it. To, I took it to TikTok, and I started going up on TikTok. And yeah, that was just a story. Like, I mean, I, I, mean, I know I missed the points, but still, that's how it really just started. Like. Me, me, me posting what I'm posting now, and me, people asking how I had the courage to post what I post. I don't care what nobody say. They're going to talk what you're doing good or bad, so you might as well do it anyways. You know what I'm saying? They're going to talk. You can look like Rihanna, body like Kardashian, money like Kardashian. They still going to have something bad to say. You can't win, so you might as well do it anyways. You know what I'm saying? I love my hair. You know what I'm saying? My haters always saying, you know, she ain't bad. Let's say they were embarrassing. Embarrassing. It ain't embarrassing to me. Because I love what I do. But God, I used to love saying that embarrassing word. Right? Girl, I don't care. I don't care. You know, I'm going to still do me at the end of But it really started in elementary school when I had to start taking up for myself, like defending myself when people used to talk about me because I was, you know, a tippy girl. Mm. Not the motherfuckers in the, in the follow back list. Trying to get a follow back. Mm-hmm. Because they get any motivation to do it, you know what I'm saying? Without them, you know, well. But to, to my, but, but for real, a real talk. To my plus side people, bro, don't let nobody tell you that, you know what I'm saying? Don't let nobody discourage you, you know, like, keep talking about you, like, keep talking about your weight, like, because you can change the way. You can get, you, you can get serious, or you can just lose weight, do it the right way. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hate when I be saying bullies, but I don't like that, like, 
Especially talking about a plus size girl, like, stop doing it. You know, I get people tell me every day, bro, your videos make my day. I'm plus size myself, and I can't do the stuff that you're doing, but you give me courage. My head lady tell me, like, my daughter, she plus size. She say, can you please talk to my daughter on the phone and get her the courage that you have? And... The confidence that you have, because she said my daughter don't have no confidence. She said my daughter lack confidence. Every day she comes to school, she either sad, the person, excuse me. She's just not herself because people talk about her weight. You know what I'm saying? I jump in behind my feelings because, like, no no kids had to go. I went through bullying. I did. I did. I went through bullying, bro. Like, I used to get bullied almost every day. But see, I held my own, like, you know what I'm saying? I can't let you break me because what you keep saying about me, you know. So I had to change it. When I was in school, I had to, like, on go. I swear to God, y'all, a girl was walking in the hallway. I was going to my, I was going to my class. And she was crying. I'm like, what's wrong with you? So he keeps talking about my, my weight. He keeps talking about me. He said I'm ugly. Well, nobody ever want to talk. Man, that don't hurt me. I went to the, I went to the little girl classroom, y'all. And I was like, bro, why you keep talking about this girl? Like, look at you. Like, you won't look too good yourself. Like, he had made me mad because she was boo-hoo crying. Like, she was going to go to the counselor. And she said she was going to ride to school before she went to the counselor. And I had to go to the class. I had to check the bro. Because I'm like, bro, you you janking and you jolting people. But look at you. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at you, bro. And you don't know the fact that that could have that. What that girl would ride to school and did something to her so then where you would have been the cause of it. Because you want to be so funny. When you're not even funny, you saying the same jokes. Mark Harry. Hippo, like, like, look kids be saying the same jokes, like, hippo, Mark Henry, you know what I'm saying, just saying the same lame fat jokes, like, no, and she would cry to her, like, bro, don't worry about what they say, you know what I'm saying, you can't keep worried about what nobody say, because the more you worry about somebody say, the more they're going to keep on saying it, you stop worrying, they'll stop, they'll stop saying it, I talked to them, I got her words of curve, like, they're going to talk. They don't do that to try to get, cause they ain't got nobody to talk about. So they got to talk about somebody that they, they, they know they, that they know the joke's gonna be a little funny by saying that you know they gonna have a sometimes have a clear laughing cause what they saying. But I had to go in there and talk to them. I had to go talk to them cause you, you, you why you made me so mad. I had a girl tell me she was gonna kill herself so she started you know what I'm saying watching my videos. And, and he don't know why I, be, why I go so hard. I go so hard because I be want, you know what I'm saying, to encourage plus size people to encourage them. Like, you can do it. You in, Anything you put your mind to, you can do it. Stop listening. Worry about what everybody's going to think or say about you. They're going to talk. Regardless, they're going to talk. So you might what to do you. Though I go so hard for, you know, plus size people. I know how I was in the same day. I know exactly how they are. You can't find love. I, bro, I, like, I, I talk, I ain't gonna lie, I talk to people, but, like, whether they find love, I don't, like, I'm able to probably find that, because, like, nowadays, niggas look at plus size girl as if it's, like, used, like, oh, I'm gonna use her. I ain't, I'm just gonna use her for her stuff. Like, me, on the other hand, I ain't going for none of that. None of that at all. I ain't going for none of that. Especially you with me. So. You better off playing with your mama, not me. The why? Um, people better get a reaction out of me. Because I know it don't be genuine. How many pieces of chicken? Three, four. I ate four pieces of chicken. I am full. And don't mind it. I don't eat the skin. So don't say, oh, you got food back there. I don't eat the skin. No chicken. I don't eat the skin.
on y'all. Let me say. I'm talking for 30 minutes. <clears throat> y'all tell me in the comments, do y'all like my little sit up like? Do y'all like my little still? You know what I'm saying? So today, I was supposed to hold it like, bro, how I'm finna set this up? Like, how I'm finna try to set this up, like, we got one piece of chicken glue. The rest of this, scrape up skin. Bones, devour, do you hear me? This beer, I'm, I'm done. I'm full. I ate four pieces of chicken, almost all the okras, and two peppers, and now my stomach on fire. Look at my watch, mama. Make sure you come and like and subscribe. We're on the road to 10K. Hopefully this video gets to you. Show you much love. I love you guys. I want to say thank you for supporting me. From when I first started to now. If you've been supporting me since I first started to now. I just want to say I genuinely love you guys. And... It's more to come for me. You know what I'm saying? And I love you guys. Goodbye. Mwah.